right guys now this is problem number two now previous uh, problem what we did we were calculating op so this part here which is part four of the video we'll be doing another problem we're just gonna do these two problems just to demonstrate what we've learned about our trigonometric functions and their inverses now let's say you are given this problem here one plus tan theta right one plus tan theta let's just say this theta is squared and they just want you guys to calculate and find the solution here so on this one we all know that uh, one is just one you can just write it like that as one and then as for tan we know that uh, from our previous videos if you did not watch the previous videos please go to part one and part two in order for you to understand this but from our previous video or our previous lesson we know that tan is uh, equaling to hyper i mean is equaling to opposite over adjacent now when you look at this thing here when you look at our Cartesian plane here guys our graph here we know that uh, we have our opposite which is uh, in this case is gonna be X sorry in this case it's gonna be Y our opposite in this case is actually y and then our adjacent which is going to be x now let's look at this so our y which is going to be 5 and our x is going to be 2 now tan is equaling to what tan is equaling to opposite now in this case our opposite is going to be 5 over and then what is our adjacent which is going to be two but do not forget tan this tan here is what it is squared now when you continue and write this this is gonna be one plus now 25 over four now let's put this on our calculator what do we get an answer of uh, seven Oh, sorry 7.25 so that is our answer for this problem guys do not forget that we use the trigonometric functions so this is how you use the trigonometric functions when you are solving this problem let's do another one let's do another problem and then from there we are done we will uh, do the cast diagram now another problem whereby now we use the this problem here is whereby we use the if you still remember we use the reciprocals so you need to remember what is the reciprocal of uh, sec if you still remember from our previous two videos in fact part number two of this series we know that uh, the reciprocal of uh, sec is actually cos. Now, if you still remember, cos is equaling to what? If you still remember, cos is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Name adjacent over hypotenuse. Now, meaning now, cosec is gonna be what? Cosec is gonna be cosec is gonna be let's make it square cos x square it's gonna be the opposite it's gonna be hypotenuse it's gonna be hypotenuse over adjacent all right squared let's not forget our scale our squared now if you remember part three we calculated op now look at this op is actually your hypotenuse on this one guys OP is your hypotenuse because if we draw a line like this, this becomes your right angle triangle and OP here becomes your hypotenuse. So on part 3, if you still remember, we did actually get OP. Now we need to go back to part 3. I went back to 
part three to check hypotunis in this case our op our radius if you still remember from part three our radius it was actually square root 29 yes it was square root 29 so all we have to do now we have to uh, substitute on this formula here so what is our what is our uh, final answer what is our sec square so our sec squared theta is actually so where there is a hypotenuse we put square root 29 right over now what about our adjacent what is our adjacent remember guys our adjacent is this part here and we know that this part is x so it's gonna be two so that is uh two so we have to write two and this is gonna be squared so when you continue this is gonna be this square root and squared they're gonna give you 29 over and this is gonna be four you can leave it like this man so we can say um sec squared theta is equal to 29 over four which if you continue and write it in a decimal point it's going to be 29 over 4 and our answer is going to give us 7 so the right correct answer is 7 so guys these are the problems that you can solve when you know the trigonometric functions that we've been doing and um, yeah man so stay tuned for the next chapter so stay tuned in fact not chapter stay tuned for the next part whereby we'll be dealing with the cast diagram this is a very very important diagram so i would advise you guys to watch it